In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint Beel Tan Thorn Pattern Freehands. Right, let's get into it. For this video, I'll be using the following paints. Abaddon Black, Rhinox Hide, Warpstone Glow, and Screaming Skull. We're going to take some Abaddon Black and water this down quite heavily, so if we're not happy with anything, it'll be easier to fix any mistakes. And all we're going to do is sketch out a very thin line where we want this thorn pattern to go. It might be a good idea to sketch out something on a piece of paper beforehand, so you have a rough idea of where it's all going to go. Now I'm going for quite a bold stylized pattern on my Bealtan Aldari and I want the design to take up a lot of the available space but you can paint the thorns in any style you want. You can easily scale this design up and down depending on what you're actually painting. The method will be exactly the same but it works really well on large flat areas like the Eldari grav tanks or these weapons platforms. And you should end up with something that looks a lot like this. Once you're happy with the overall layout, we can start to thicken up the line work and we're going to taper it down to a fine point as you move along. Now, as we've watered the black down quite a lot, you probably find you're going to need to build up a few coats to achieve a nice solid colour. For the next stage you want to start planning where you want the thorns to go and we'll start by painting a short thin line everywhere you want a thorn. And just keep doing this now until you're happy with the overall pattern. Then we start to thicken up the thorns by painting in small triangles, trying to get a nice sharp point. So to help tie in the thorn pattern into the surface a little more, we're going to take the shading colours used when we were painting the armour panels, which was two parts warpstone glow to one part rhinox hide, and water this down so it's a nice thin glaze. And we're just going to glaze this over the lower parts of the panels a little. Now this is nice and thin so we can build it up to get the desired effect. And what I do is add a layer, let it dry, and repeat until you're happy. If you want to see the video on me painting the green armour, check out the card that's popping up in the top right, right about now. So just one last step, we need to re-highlight the panel edges where we've painted the black. And to do that, we're going to take some Abaddon Black and Screaming Skull in a 50-50 mix and water it down slightly. And we'll run this along the armour panels, focusing on the upper edges, same as we did for the green, to help tie the whole design and the different areas together. 
Now I've mixed Screaming Skull into the black because I've used it a lot in the green highlighting. But if you're in a hurry, you could just use a neat light gray color like Administratum Gray and it'll give pretty much the same effect. And that's it, a nice bold stylized freehand thorn pattern for your Biltan Eldari. Give this a go yourself. I'd love to see how you get on, so tag me in your photos over on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see me painting more Biltan, check out this little playlist I've put together for you over on the right. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you over there.